Welcome to the Know Before You Grow series. I'm Matt. And I'm Chris of MySoil. And today we're gonna to be looking at the Detroit Nutrient Company Great Lakes Water Only Bag Soil. Follow us along as we fill out a scorecard, evaluate its overall score and best uses. Let's go ahead and dive right into the price. When we compare the price point, which was $37.99 per cubic foot, against our chart, we come out to a score that's just a solid two. So this is on the higher end of what we've paid for several soils, uh, but let's go ahead and see how it smells, looks and feels, and overall performs. So Chris, as you open that bag, what smells are hitting you? Yeah, on this one, uh, I get a real, real musty earth scent, like, real musty when I when I smell this one. I mean, it's not totally off-putting, but just a real musty smell on this one. And I, I scored it on smell as a sick. Yeah, Chris called it musty, I think. And it's kind of just like a decomposing wood smell to me. It's like some fungal decomposition. Like It's not totally off-putting, but it is uh, slightly noticeable. Um, and so I scored it um, a six on smell for that as well. So let's go ahead and get that into the scorecard and talk a little bit about the, the overall look and feel. Now, one of the things I notice is there's a pretty good variety of different sizes of, of woody material in here. Um, the perlite that's mixed in is pretty small and, and uh, really well distributed. Those are some of my notes on look and feel, and that led me to a score of about six and a half. Chris, did you have anything to add? I had around a six um, on this as well, as far as uh, look and feel, I, again, maybe like, your typical what you'd expect from a, a potting soil um, that you would buy uh, at the store, you know, some bigger components here, the perlite, the peat. So can we agree on a 6.5 for yeah, that one? Yeah, I think so. So we're at a six on smell, we're at a six and a half on look and feel. What did the soil nutrition look like here, Chris? Yeah, so we went ahead and did a my soil test on uh, this soil before we ever planted the plants. Uh, we evaluated those nutrient levels before we saw the grow out. Uh, nutrient levels for this soil were actually uh, pretty good. Uh, all our micronutrients were at or above the optimal range. You know, a lot of them were pretty high on the optimal range. We were a little low on our micronutrients, which is typical across a lot of the potting mm -hmm. soils that we see. Our pH was in the optimal range. So overall, uh, a pretty balanced soil nutrition wise, I rated this at an 8.5. Great, and I ran my rating at an 8.5 as well, but I did mine off the nutrient density score on the my soil platform. Um, like Chris mentioned, all the macros were good, micros were a little low, pH was a little acidic, but really in great, great shape um, to start growing plants from a nutritional standpoint. All right, so we'll go ahead and put an 8.5 in the scorecard for the nutrient levels and talk about will it grow. Now, will it grow tomatoes? Absolutely, these tomatoes look great. They did get a little leggy. Um, we have this one um, propped up or staked up a little bit um, because we got really rapid growth, probably tied to the high nitrogen levels. Um, but for one reason or another, if you see here, this was my third attempt at planting lettuce. So we pre-germinated the seeds and planted them. Those grew up, died, replanted them, died, replanted them, and that's where we are here. So for one reason or another, and it's not a nutritional issue, we just didn't have a lot of success uh, growing our lettuce here. So I had to drop the Will It Grow score down um, for me to a seven and a half. Yeah, so for Will It Grow, I had it at a 7.5 as well. And as Matt mentioned, for some reason, the, the leafy greens, the lettuce really struggled in this soil. So overall, we give it a 7.5 for Will It Grow. That leads us to an overall rating of 6.1. Again, the tomatoes performed great. So Chris, what do you see as some of the best uses of this soil? I had this as a kind of a good all around soil because of the nutrient levels. Um, Again, with the caveat of, um, you know, the leafy green side of the house, we're not really sure what, what we've never seen this happen mm -hmm. before, but you know, the tomatoes look really good and to not have the, the lettuce grow like it did um, kind of threw us off a little bit. So I'd say good all around soil. Um, 
a good addition for organic matter, potentially in a native soil, although it is on the high end for the price uh, mm -hmm. to value for adding organic to a native soil. Sure, and I had the same the same note. If I had a small native soil garden, I wouldn't hesitate to add this to it and, and incorporate it, especially because of those nutrition levels. Thanks for following us along on this Know Before You Grow series where we looked at the Great Lakes water only soil. If you found it helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit notifications so you can see more of our Know Before You Grow series. As always, we'll look forward to seeing you again soon in the lab.